Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna be analyzing first killer, playing some ranked twos. Game one, we got AJ on the other team, his teammate on phase, two mechanical monsters going up against each other. Candy playing with first killer. I've seen a lot of candy in these replay analysis. Whenever I do these analysis, candy is always always in the 2v2 scene with these pros so candy's gonna be a good player cam uh cam's a, a familiar name as well i don't know why i know cam no one from somewhere though but game number two is the one you're not gonna want to miss stick around for that because the winter major coming up soon we've actually got first killer versus scrub killer two killers two homicidal maniacs gonna be going up against each other in game number two i'm really excited for that scrub killer from across the pond as the eu boys say all right so anyways we're trying to learn something from old first killer here really all you can learn is probably how to triple flip reset ceiling shot double tap from this guy but we'll see if we can pick apart what he's doing to be successful in these 2v2 games aj of course is gonna know first killer's tendencies very well so it's that dunk makes first killer look like he was read like a book and that's because he was i mean like i said aj is gonna know what first killer wants to do and vice versa as well so this should be interesting all right looks like first killer is gonna be the first challenger on the ball he's just gonna dive straight in okay and bump aj off give his teammate a free Allen, except Candy was very far back, not expecting First to have the bump. Honestly, I would love to see First be hitting this up and to the right. Look at Candy's positioning after he lands for that flip. Touch up field to the right and Candy can follow it up. First, I got better vision than First Killer. <laughs> Just kidding, I may have made the same mistake in my own games and when you are a very uh, solo oriented player like first killer you probably are more concerned with just trying to score yourself so but for those of you watching definitely a good play that first killer could have made what i'm noticing is first killer will cut rotation a lot but it's in order to get a touch on a ball and instantly shut down an opponent's play so far first killer has not wanted to leave defending up to his teammate he would rather dive as quote unquote second man in order to shut down the play and let his teammate follow up on a free ball instead what a lot of people will do is stay second man let let their teammate challenge first and then they will receive the free ball. First killer is trying to give Candy the free balls from the looks of it. And that's exactly sort of why first killer probably wants that. Because if you're letting your teammate challenge first, you've got to hope that they put in a good challenge or else you're probably just getting scored on. If your teammate challenges first, but they don't make a good contact or don't get a good challenge or don't hit the ball at all, and as second man, a lot of the time, there's not much you can do to not get scored on. However, that time, first killer does let Candy be first man. And interestingly, that's going to be a goal. Very slow shot. Uh, I think Cam could have saved. Might have messed up. Might have tripped up on the goal. God, the octane is f***ing. Oh, beep that out. <laughs> God, the octane is a thick boy. I swear, whenever it's the octane versus the fennec in terms of contact, like physical play, the octane wins every time. I love the fennec, but the octane is just thicker. Yeah, first killer just unstoppable on that play knows cam by the time cam spawns he's not going to be able to get up to the backboard for that clear 
And then he just doesn't expect Cam to have that touch, which, you know. Even if Cam does end up getting the touch, he's got a teammate behind him. So first killer is allowed to dive for that shot. What I'm noticing also about first killer is he is just super consistent. He hasn't missed the ball. He hasn't whiffed anything that he's gone for yet. I mean, he's playing extremely fast, yet he has not messed up a touch one time yet. Now he did get caught out of position by AJ there. We're talking about just pure speed and mechanics. He hasn't messed up once. Good touch off the back corner to pop it out in front of him in the midfield. Four four. The countdown begins. First killer with a free ball and a 1v1 with AJ. Okay. Good save. Good assistance by Cam there. On what probably wouldn't have been a goal anyways, because that was a very weird uh contact on the flip reset. Oh, no way. Oh, first almost gets there. Candy, unable to put it on target. You know, first killer's punch in the air on that one. Ooh. First killer gets right in AJ's face, forces him to throw away the ball. Now, this is a dangerous bounce. However, Candy does fine. Cam, pretty far back on that. You know, first killer wants a piece of this one. We're not gonna give it to him. Oh, here's first killer diving. When he should be second man, most likely. Andy was a little slow to the ball and first killer didn't want to take any chance of nobody getting there. And he gets rewarded. So, you know, that's something first killer was able to do was dive in front of the play, even when he technically probably shouldn't have based on his positioning and where he was in the rotation. But because again, he's so fast and he never messes up a touch, he's able to do that. Cause if he goes up for a ball, he's getting a touch. And so if you're able to do that, if you're able to go up and get the touch, then a lot of the time it's okay if you cut rotation because now I, I shouldn't say that. It's not okay that you cut rotation at this level. It's not as bad because your teammates are very good. Everybody's recoveries are very quick. Everybody knows how to space properly and rotate properly after any anything happens. So, you know, if first killer cuts rotation, Candy is very capable of fixing his positioning and rotation to adapt to that situation. Now, if you're below like GC3, your teammates are not going to be as capable at adapting to you cutting rotation. But first killer, like I said, knows he's up against some very tough opponents he does not want to put the fate of his game into his his teammates hands you know it, candy's a very good player but he still knows how good aj is knows aj can absolutely outplay candy if he's given the space to do so so first killer was shutting it down every single time as soon as possible let's get into the next one all right game number two and look who's straight across from first killer we've got the scrub killer First killer gets bumped off his back corner boost. Goes back for it though after Redosin covers the net for him. Scrub killer. I have not kept up on what Scrub killer has been doing as of lately. I don't even know what team Scrub killer is on right now, if any. But nonetheless, still like him. Hope he's doing well. Hope he's finding success. I mean, he doesn't even have to compete. He's got an audience, YouTube, Twitch. I'm sure he's doing just fine. Going for the plan B. About the only thing he can do there. Really well versed in his mechanical options. First killer is. Oh, 
No boost. What is he gonna do? Has to hit it away. Doesn't want to allow Scrub Killer to come challenge him on zero boost with nobody behind him. If Scrub Killer turns there, first killer tries to play it slow. Scrub Killer turns. Redosin was in front of the play. That would be a free goal for the blue team. So good play there by first killer just to take the touch. Not worth trying to keep it close there. Wow, the IQ on that play. And he gets the 50 on the goal line. The IQ, this is what makes people who are really good at the game really good at the game. So what happens here, I mean, he's trying to fake out Scrub Killer. Scrub Killer goes for the ceiling challenge, anticipating the high aerial play. Scrub Killer is still a good player. He knows he can still defend, even if, if First Killer fakes this. Scrub Killer can still throw in a challenge here and hit the ball. But First Killer reads the timing on the play so well. He knows if he hits this fast, Scrub Killer can't get a touch. If he air dribbles this, First Killer can challenge. If he flip resets this, he can get a challenge. If he ceiling shots this, he can get a challenge. The only play Scrub Killer cannot challenge here is the hard fast touch. It's a pass Scrub Killer. And gets the 50 on the goal line. And gets the, the two wheel drift at the end there. Those in first, both going for the kickoff. Weird, okay, it's fine. No way he turns this into a play, right? Okay, almost. Three is zero. Oh, slight downward bounce on that, and first killer's double tapping that all day. What's the? Oh, oh, misses pretty much an open net, but. You know, we all do that sometimes. Even out of the great, like, first killer misses an open net every once in a while. Dosen is just eating up those 50s. Great play by first killer there. He sees Dosen going for the back corner. So, what's he do? He hits it towards his teammate to grab the boost and then follow up. Really well done. Something a lot of players around champion two to grand champion two need to work on in my personal experience wink wink recognizing how you can set up your teammate to be able to go get the boost and then get the turn for the ball beautiful touch there i love those plays Oh, all right, it's not as fast as it looked. He can get there. Takes a soft first touch, sets himself up. Flip reset to wave dash to landing. Like gets a little off, off the mark on the landing. That's okay. Lunar and Scrub Killer trying to find any sort of offense here. Scrub Killer just hits the ball away. Maybe hoping first killer doesn't spawn over there. It makes sense. Not enough sauce on that on that flick by Scrub. Force, forces the 50-50 to midfield towards his teammate. First killer is ooh. Well, first killer is looking like nobody can touch him right now. Honestly, even after letting that goal in, I stick by that. Between the first game and now this second game. If you ask me who the best player in the world was, first killer's definitely got a good, good point uh, in that argument. Again, trying to use the plan B, which is a similar sort of concept to that other play where he played it fast off the wall past scrub killer. You have to realize what you can and can't do in any situation, right? Here, there's no point in him going for the flip reset. He's so far away from the net still. Getting a flip reset is not threatening in this position. So going for a flip reset doesn't make sense. Unless you get a crazy amount of power on your flip, which is possible. 
but not consistent. He could get a crazy amount of power on his on his flip and put this off the backboard, potentially, maybe. So the flipper set doesn't really make sense. You don't have time to come to the ground and catch the ball or come to the ground and shoot or wave dash the shot or pinch the shot because Lunar's got it covered. Lunar's spacing, Lunar's spacing. He will meet you on the ground. He will get the ball by the time you get to the ground. He realizes that. So the only thing he can do is try to surprise Lunar, try to get the ball over him, try to make the only tactic that he has the timing and space for. And that's why the plan B is a good offensive maneuver because when your ground play is shut down by proper spacing and your aerial play is shut down by proper spacing or too far of a distance that we see here, not enough boost perhaps, the plan B is that middle ground where you can look at this. If he hits this contact better, if he gets this plan B shot better, Lunar is too far to save it. Scrub Killer can still save it, but he at least has found a way to put a shot on target past the first player. So something First Killer is doing super well is reading the timing and spacing on the plays. Scrub off the sidewall, double taps it, but doesn't really change his trajectory too much. Not a super threatening play. Dose in to Scrub, Scrub to the sidewall, first scaler to the backboard, and sinks that double tap. However, Lunar does get between it. Again, just like in the first game, first scaler playing so fast, creating so many offensive chances, and not missing on any mechanical execution now he did miss an open sh net earlier with his shot but besides that he has nailed everything which is a super high rate of consistency for how many times first killer has gone for the ball actually insane Ooh, bummer <laughs> almost one more for the road all right guys that's gonna be the end of the video if you liked it do me a favor drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like educational rock league content that's what we're all about here educational rock league content to improve your gameplay while you're at it why not click on the end screen watch the last video we did with apparently jack and if you're not interested in that maybe check out the recommended video but i'll see you guys in the next one peace out